Hey YouTubers, welcome here to a brand new channel, Retro Stuff TV. Now on this channel we're going to be reviewing everything from the past to the present. Anything from old video game consoles to vinyl records to cassette decks to cameras. You name it, we're going to be doing it here on the show. We're going to be doing reviews, uh, testing, what to buy, what not to buy, what's good and what's bad. So for all those episodes to come, we're going to be doing a lot. Now today we're going to bring you a special episode here today and we're going to be talking about Super 8 Movie Film. Yes, there's many variety here of Super 8 stuff that we're going to be talking about from projectors to cameras to Super 8 collections like uh, this one back here. But today I want to get down to the Super 8 home movie market. Now your dad was probably filming in Super 8 in the 70s and 80s because he couldn't afford to buy one of those video cameras that sat on your shoulder for about $3,000 or pounds. So when I was a budding filmmaker in my younger days, I started cutting my teeth on Super 8mm film. And you know what? It was a very cheap format at the time to actually use. Now I've been digging around in my vault uh, and I've unearthed a lot of old rare footage. Uh, that I'm going to be showing you here today. Now the footage I'm going to be showing you of is of a period in Australia on the Gold Coast between 1987 and 1993. I have a lot of films in that era to be showing you of theme parks, attractions, uh, fun fairs, you name it, anything fun that we used to do back then because we wanted to create something special and more like we were trying our hands in 3D as well. But the one we're going to be talking about today is our all-time favorite one here of Dreamworld. Yes, on here we're going to be showing you Dreamworld of 1987 and 1989. Back when this plaque was a very different place. It was a magical place that a guy called John Longhurst built with his own bare hands on the digger. And uh, compared to today, Dreamworld is still exciting, but back in this day was when the real Dreamworld was. So, as budding filmmakers, this is our first day out filming as our learning as we were going along to make films. And what you will see here today is the first slot of this film. We shot in Super 8 silent film. Uh, we put some background music to it and that, but we think you'd like it. And the second half of this film is going to be shot in Super 8 sound film. So we've got sound for half the film and silent for the rest. But it's interesting to watch. Now we've got some bonus features on this film that I've never seen anywhere on YouTube myself maybe except for dream or commercials of the past now the bonus features is some rare footage of an attempt to take some on-ride footage of the Eureka Mountain Mine Ride using nothing but these now this was the actual camera I used on the Eureka Mountain Mine Ride to do front seat views and filming the ride for most of the entire way around now we wanted to do this to get a special 3D effect and turn it into 3D. However, at the time when this Dreamworld film was made, it never got to the stage of editing due to other projects and financial cost at the time. So what you're going to see here today is the raw footage that was not cut or edited at all. Uh, we slowly edited it in so you guys can watch it here on YouTube. Uh, but the full feature in that is more in depth than what you will see here today. Now the bonus features, as I said, this on ride footage is at the end of the film, so keep watching to the very end. And you too will see how we created taking this camera on a ride that was really intense, really shaky, but really fun to do. And we managed after many, like four attempts, to get the best shot of the actual track and on ride view of what the rider would do. Now of course back then, GoPros weren't invented, iPhones weren't invented so all you had was this or a VHS video camera and this was more lighter than that to take on so holding on with dear life it was a very fun piece of film to watch and to film at the time mind you you wouldn't do that today because something of this size would probably fall off and uh, hit someone in the head it was in the 80s life was a bit more simpler back then and we got to do many things with Dremel permission at the time as well so without further ado, I hope you enjoy this trip down memory lane of Dreamworld in the past. And if you have any comments, I'd be interested to find out for the people who uh, visited Dreamworld in this time with your memories and thoughts. And I uh, hope it brings back uh, some good times that you used to have at Dreamworld. So without further ado, let's get on with the film Dreamworld 
1987 and 1989. So get your popcorn and here we go. Enjoy.